to something that really surprised a lot of people. Uh, you'll remember the nickname Octomom for Nadia Sulman, who gave birth to eight children, <laughs> octuplets, <laughs> uh, now 14 years ago. No. And you remember when she had uh. those kids, there were a lot of people, ourselves included, who said, there's no way this can turn out well. It no. is just right. too much. Right. She has six other children right. as well. Right. Well, the octuplets okay. turned 14 yesterday, and there was a joyous celebration. Wow. And I gotta say, <laughs> the kids all look, very, look great. Yeah, we all thought that this was a recipe for disaster 14 years ago, and we're glad to say that we were wrong, yeah. right? We all yeah. predicted that foster care, you know, impossible to parent these kids. She really, Natalie Suleiman, hadn't shown much capacity for, for handling these kids. She had some real issues early on, some real, obviously, yeah. financial issues and, and, uh, and other difficulties. But, you know, I, we don't know the inside of these kids' schooling and all that other stuff, but they seem like they're good, healthy kids. It's a great yeah, story. Yeah. It really is. And, you know, they, by the way, you say that they look like they're great, healthy kids. They're all vegan, which I think is interesting. Vegan. One, that they all decided you wouldn't expect there are eight different people. I know they were right. born at the same time, they're octuplets, <laughs> right. but they're eight individuals, and the fact that they have all decided to right. be vegan is uh, interesting. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and probably kind of expensive for Nadia. Yeah, but, I was gonna say. Uh, Harvey like spoke kids. to her yesterday and she said, you know, um, the kids are doing great, she is happy, and she made a, a, a remarkable decision. She said that obviously she got a lot of offers to do reality shows. Oh, I'm sure. And she didn't want to do it because she just knew that it would be a lot, it would be wow. very demanding for the kids and she wanted them just to focus on being kids and right. going to school. So uh, congrats to them. Wow. Really great, great story. Hey guys, JoJo from Tampa, and I think it's pretty rad to see Nadia Solomon raising and celebrating these kids' 14th birthday. In the grand scheme of things, 2009 feels like quite some time ago, and all the drama that surrounded them, I think people definitely just want to make sure she had a healthy pregnancy, and then that they lived a healthy, long life. Um, to see them alive in and thriving, eating vegan donuts for their birthday, <laughs> I think it's great for all of us to see. No one expected it, so for 2023, fast forward to see this is great. Yes. We gotta latch on to good stories when Yeah, we, I like it, except when for it happen. makes you feel old. Besides that. Oh, I thought you were gonna complain about the vegan part. Oh, uh, well, that too, but. <laughs> <laughs>